Oh shit, here we go again. Jesus fucking Christ, and I thought the Quadrum TV situation has been calmed down, but apparently Quadrum TV just, just couldn't stop? Apparently, he just can't stop. For those of you who don't know what the hell I'm talking about, he recently false DMCA strike against another commentator on YouTube known as Raspion. What? What the fuck? Yes. You heard that correctly. And this situation has gotten worse. Respion has recently made the tweet about this entire situation, so let's hear what he has to say. Quantum TV just filed a DMCA on my X file video, which YouTube denied. Really, dude? You're still doing this? And I had to agree with Respion on this. I mean, come on. He has been through a lot of controversy. For example, the Onision vs. Respion case, and Respion just ended up winning the court case because his videos on Onision was still in fair use. And that's enough of the history lesson, he sends free screenshots about this entire situation as well. He shows a first screenshot about Quantum TV's bitching, and I quote, This user took and used the heart of the original video. Um, no he didn't, he just transformed your original work, but whatever. Which replaces the original, and or any need to watch the original. Additionally, at the time this user uploaded his video, my video was removed from YouTube, and there is no fair way to acquire this removed footage. For this reason, I have good faith to believe my copyright was in Fringe, my copyright registration number is. Yeah, you can already tell. And I requested that YouTube remove this video. <laughs> you serious? Quadum, I don't know if you noticed, but Respion's response of you is still under fair use. Cry about it. He did not break YouTube's TOS, so please cry more. Now, what do I? What did he mean by his video? Well, he was referring to his video of Quadum TV Files video, basically. Now, let's just continue the rest of the video. A creator should have the right to have their copyrighted material removed when the, considering the factors of fair use. Trust me, Quadum, you don't know what fair use actually means, the legal definition, but let's just continue anyway. The nature of this work is to harass and antagonize the original creation. Quadum, honey. His video was not made to harass people, it was made basically news reporting. You don't know what harassment is, and you don't live in reality, you need to stop. By using deleted footage and show key elements of the original review in a matter that prevents the original from holding any value, should I ask the original creator chose to re-upload to it to YouTube. This is unfair use, and I believe this user disregard the four factors of fair use when creating this video. For this reason, I request this video to be taken down from YouTube servers. You stinky. That is not how it works. Really? YouTube servers, man. Like Quantum, Respion's video is still under fair use. You could say it's unfair use whatever the hell you want. It's still fair use. Once again, cry more. Oh! 
Not a moment too soon, YouTube has been contacted Quadrant TV, and the results may shock you. So here is the second screenshot we're about to read out today. Hi Quadrum TV, we are concerned that your copyright notification may not be valid for some or all of the videos identified in your notification. Please keep in mind that in many countries it is legal to use copyrighted works in specific ways without owner's authorization particularly for transformative purposes such as news reporting, parody, commentary, or review. Some countries protect such uses under delicacies of fair use or fair dealings, while, while others allow for specific exp expectations to copyright protection. But wait! There's more! If you still believe your copyright is infringed by the YouTube's videos identified in your notification, please explain in detail why you think so. We ask that you provide more detail than was included in your initial notice. Here are questions you may wish to consider. How much of your copyrighted work is used? How is the market of your original work affected by this use? Does this use significantly transform your original work, or does it serve the same purpose? Does this use fall into an exception to copyright protection? Please note that we may share your response with the uploaders. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Signed, Team YouTube. Nice. And the news just keeps getting better and better. Respion received a notification from YouTube. So here's the one final screenshot that Respion has presented us today. Hello, we receive a copyright infringement notification below regarding your videos. We believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealings, or a similar exception to copyright protection. We are writing to let you know we do not plan to remove your videos at this time. You have co control over the availability of your videos on your channel, including the ability to delete them if you choose. Now that is the best news we heard from today, and that news brings me a smile to my face. And let's just hope Quatrum TV does not try to false DMCA strike my video, because clearly my video was fair use, just like Raspion does. Oh Jesus Christ, I really need to calm myself down. First, they tried to do something with the common spams and tried to basically remove the option to remove the hidden subscriber counts. And now they sided with Raspion instead of Quarkton TV. Holy shit, I think they're trying to restore their honor. But whatever the case may be, I am glad that Raspion's video was not taken down by the false DMCA strikes by Quarkton. If you want to see Raspion's response of Quantum TV, I recommend you check it out in the video link description. But with that being said, I believe that will be enough for today. I'm getting tired of responding to Quantum TV. I'll just respond to old Acer Forn or something. Maybe tomorrow. By the way, stay tuned for my let's play on my Final Fantasy 7 livestream tonight and we'll probably get more videos upcoming real soon. So yeah, Raspian's video will be in the description as well as his YouTube channel and follow me on social media as well as feel free to subscribe if you're new. And give it a like if you enjoy this content. With that being said, I guess that will be all. Good day.